confident about uh, what's possible. And a lot of my, you say you watched me, mm -hmm. my watching you continues to make me know what's possible. Diana Ross is an American singer, songwriter, and actress from Detroit. She's widely known as the lead singer of the female group, The Supremes, which became one of the best-selling female groups of all time in the 1960s. They're still a charting female group in the USA with 12 hit singles on the US Billboard Hot 100. Ross left the group in 1970 and started a solo career. Her solo career was extremely successful with worldwide concert tours and hit albums. Not only that, she also starred in a number of highly watched primetime television specials, being the only female artist to have 70 hit singles. Her success has been recognized in the Guinness Book of World Records. You're really doing this kind of work. It's hard work. I know that it may look easy, but there are these ups and downs in your journey. If you enjoy these videos, please remember to hit the like button as it does help us out a lot. And comment below who your favorite celebrity is that you'd love to see in an upcoming video. Her full name is Diane Ernestine Earl Ross, but is also known as the female entertainer of the century. She was born on March 26, 1944 in Detroit, Michigan, U.S., making her 77 at the time of this production. She stands at 5 feet 4 inches tall. Diana Ross considers herself a Baptist. She used to sing in church where she gained her initial musical experience. Her mother, Ernestine's father, Reverend William Moten, served as a pastor in Bessemer Baptist Church in Bessemer, Alabama. Diana's other hobbies include cooking. She herself is a vegetarian, and the food she enjoys eating most is Arabic cuisine. She also enjoys jogging and walking in her free time. Her musical tastes mainly consist of instrumental and Indian music. Diana Ross has been married twice and has five children. Ross became romantically involved with Motown CEO Barry Gordy in 1965. The relationship lasted several years, resulting in the birth of Ross's eldest child, Rhonda Suzanne Silberstein, in August 1971. Two months into her pregnancy with Rhonda in January 1971, Ross married music executive Robert Ellis Silberstein, who raised Rhonda as his own daughter. Ross has two daughters with Silberstein, Tracy Joy and Chudney Lane Silberstein, born in 1972 and 1975, respectively. Ross and Silberstein divorced in 1977, and Ross moved to New York City in the early 1980s after living in Los Angeles since Motown relocated to the area in the early 1970s. Ross dated Gene Simmons, bass guitarist and singer for the band Kiss from 1980 to 1983. Ross met her second husband, Norwegian shipping magnate Arnie Ness Jr. in 1985 and married him the following year. She became stepmother to his three elder children, Katinka, Christopher, and folk singer Leona Nance. They have two sons together, Ross Arn, born 1987, and Evan Olav, born 1988. Ross and Ness divorced in 2000 after press reports revealed that Ness had fathered a child with another woman in Norway. You said demand. Yes. I do not demand. I think it does come out of, and by the way, you earn respect. And after that, when you earn it and people call you that naturally. Diana Ross was the second eldest child of Ernestine and Fred Ross Sr. Ross's elder sister is American physician Barbara Ross Lee. According to Ross, her mother actually named her Diane, but a clerical error resulted in her name being recorded as Diana on her birth certificate. She was listed as Diane during the first Supremes record, and she introduced herself as Diane until early in the group's heyday. Most of her friends and family still call her Diane. She attended Cass Technical High School, a four-year college and preparatory magnet school in downtown Detroit. Ross began taking classes including clothing design, millinery, pattern making, and tailoring, as she had aspired to become a fashion designer. She also took modeling and cosmetology classes at the school and participated in three or four other extracurricular activities while being there. Ross graduated from Cass Tech in January 1962. At 15, Ross joined the Primettes, a sister group of a male vocal group called The Primes, after being brought to the attention of music manager Milton Jenkins by Primes member Paul Williams. Later, following local success via live performances, Ross approached her former neighbor, 
William Smokey Robinson, who insisted that the group audition for him first. Robinson agreed to bring the Primates to Motown in exchange for letting him and the Miracles hire the Primates guitarist Marv Tarplin for an upcoming tour. In January 1961, the group changed their name to the Supremes. A year later, Barbara Martin left the group, reducing the quartet to a trio. In late 1963, the group had their first hit with When the Love Light Starts Shining Through His Eyes, peaking at number 23 on the Billboard Hot 100 pop chart. At the end of the year, Ross became the group's lead singer. In November 1969, Ross confirmed a split from the Supremes and Billboard. Her presumed first solo recording, Someday We'll Be Together, was eventually released as a Supremes recording and became the group's final number one hit on the Hot 100. Ross made her final appearance with the Supremes at the Frontier Hotel in Las Vegas, Nevada on January 14, 1970. In May 1970, Ross released her solo debut, which included her first number one solo single. In 1976, Ross released her fourth solo number one hit, Love Hangover. Later that year, Ross launched her An Evening with Diana Ross tour, which was highly successful. In 1980, Ross released her most successful album to date, Diana, which included her fifth chart-topping single in the U.S., Upside Down. I just appreciate still being, having the longevity that I have had in my career. I would love to be making new music now. Mm -hmm. I, would, I would love to be recording. Ross's net worth has been built up through her music as well as her music-related activities. In fact, it should be mentioned that she's still bringing in significant sums because of her music in the present time, seeing as how she had a couple of number ones on Billboard's top dance chart in 2018 and 2019. However, Ross is engaged in other revenue-earning activities as well over the course of her long and successful career. One excellent example can be seen in how she's acted in more than one project, with the result that she has secured a Golden Globe, an Oscar nomination, plus other forms of recognition for her efforts. Another excellent example can be seen in how she chose to sell her first perfume called Diamond Diana via HSN in 2017. Diana Ross earns $41.67 million per year, $3.47 million per month, and $1.32 per second. Diana Ross's current net worth is $250 million. Diana Ross has been a resident of Greenwich, Connecticut for several years. Her most recent real estate grab in Greenwich was in 2006, which was a mansion on five acres. Built in 1930 and located in the Bell Haven community, the colonial-style home includes a tennis court, swimming pool, and covers an area of more than 12,500 feet. Ross also owns a three-bed, three-bath, 2,518-square-foot home in Venice, California, which she purchased in 2004. The home is located just a short walking distance from the beach. She also owns an apartment in New York with three full bathrooms, three bedrooms, a 29-foot-long living room, a huge kitchen, and a maid's room. The apartment has breathtaking views of Grand Army Plaza and Central Park. Being one of the richest singers and actresses, Diana Ross has some of the most lavish cars, including a Chrysler 300, a red Dodge truck, a Ferrari, a Rolls Royce,
Ross is the owner of a private jet seen often on her social media.